These Kitchen Select flat packs are so quick and easy to assemble yourself, saving you time and money and allowing you to create your very own kitchen exactly how you want it. Let me show you how easy it is. This is the 450mm grocery cupboard. Let's unpack the box and see what we've got. So let's identify our panels according to the instruction manual. We have our two side panels, our top, base and fixed panel, our four adjustable shelves, we then have our door, backing board and our back rails. Come to the hardware, we have our cam screws, 8mm dowels, cam locks, shelf pins, our hinges, feet and the screws to attach them, nail and anchors and our 30mm screws. The tools you'll need are a screwdriver and hammer, a tape measure, some masking tape and a pen, a hammer drill with a 6mm masonry bit and a 4mm wood bit, and your choice of handle. Now the first thing we need to do is install all our hardware. So our 8mm dowels and cam screws into our side panels and then our cam locks into the back rails and the fixed shelf and top and bottom. Now remember we're only going to have one fixed shelf, so you need to decide on the top and the bottom of your cupboard so that you can put the dowels and shelf pins in for the fixed shelf. That shelf goes at the top, so you only want to put your dowels in the top holes and not the bottom ones. Now when installing your cam locks, you'll notice a little arrow. Make sure that, that arrow is pointing in the direction of the hole for the cam screw. Now I found the easiest way to assemble these units is lay it on its back, so backing board slot down and cover strip facing up. Then attach your back rails, locking them in with the cam locks. Now that the back rails are on, we can attach our base, top and our fixed shelf. Now when attaching your shelves, make sure that they're right way around. You want the cover strip facing up, so that that's visible from the front of the cupboard. Now that all of those are in, we can attach our other side. Now make sure that you're very careful when you're doing that, that all your pins line up. Our next step is to slide in our backing board from the bottom. Make sure that the white side is up and the brown side is facing down. Our backing board's in, but before we stand it up, we need to put our feet on. Now when attaching your feet, it's important to remember to measure down 16 millimeters from the front and the back. Then make sure that the tab of the foot is flush with the side. Feet are on, now it's time to install our door. Now depending on the orientation of your kitchen, you might want it left or right opening. In this case, I'm having a left opening door, so I want to lay it on its left hand side. Now that the door is laying next to the cupboard, it's so much easier to attach our hinges. But before you do that, notice that there's little plastic tabs on the screws. You want to take those off and then just gently tap them into the 8mm holes to secure your hinge. Door is on, we can stand it up and pop our shelves in. There we go, now when installing your shelves, just pop your shelf pins in at your desired height and then just slide the shelves in. Perfect, now for the final touch, we can install our handle. Now when installing your handle, you want to decide on a height. I'm going to go for about 800 mils from the top, put a piece of tape there and then mark it off on the door. Now to get the exact position of your holes that you need to drill, hold your handle up against the door with the round bar flush on the edge. That'll give you an even spacing for you to mark the centers. Now we can drill those holes and install our handle. There we go, this unit is now ready and can be added to other units in the range to create your own kitchen. Then finished off with a countertop and some accessories. Here are a few installation tips. Using your 6mm masonry bit and hammer drill, secure your units to the wall with the nail and anchors. Prevent any movement of your units by using the supplied 30mm screws to fasten units together. Use the adjustable feet to set the height of your units as well as leveling them on uneven floors. To fasten a kick plate, simply use the clips on the legs. Lay your kick plate on the floor in front of your legs, then mark the center of the legs on the kickboard. Now fasten the clips to the board and press it into place. To adjust your doors, use the screws on the hinge. Use this screw to make lateral adjustments, this screw for horizontal adjustments, and this screw for vertical adjustments. 
For more units in the range, check out the Builders website. And for more how-tos just like this, check out the YouTube channel. Get to Builders, get it done.